Hello and welcome to the first part of the demo series about the use of the Office Open XML format within Documents Core Pack for MSRM 2011. In this part we will create a so-called line item template, where line item means that we show up a list of related records within the template. This could be a list of contacts related to an account, or as in that case a list of quote products. In a common quote template we usually have information about the potential customer at the top. So here we've got the test company, and this is followed by the table that shows up a list of all quote products. And these are the line items I mentioned before. So we've got seven line items in that case. And usually this is followed by um, the sum over the line items, maybe a discount, tax, and so on, and the total amount of the quote itself. In most common templates, at the bottom we find terms and conditions, like the payment conditions in our case. Unfortunately, these kind of templates were quite tricky to establish with the standard Documents Callback functionality, because in most cases we had to use um, field functions that had to be enabled via a shortcut to see its real content, and we had to work with um, quite complex if statements to place the headers and the footers, and in most cases, even when it gets more complex, we had to use macros, which was very, very hard to do for users that are not so experienced with Word or VBA. So I now will show how to create these templates with the new Office Open XML format. Basically this is all possible uh, with the new MSCRM add-ons ribbon within MS Word. So at the top left corner we find the option Insert Mail Merge Fields. With a click a new taskbar opens that allows us in the first hand to choose the type. So the quote is pre-selected in our case and we can go ahead and directly insert some fields. As mentioned before, we want to use information about the potential customer at the top. So we just scroll down the tree view, expand the potential customer and insert some fields like name. Then it would be good to insert um, the name of the primary contact maybe. So I'll choose first name, last name for example. This should be followed by the address of the company. So we go up in the tree. And as you can see, um, all many to one relations are resolved automatically, so we can insert them without any uh, additional effort. So I'll use the address line 1, the postal code and the city. And next to this we can of course just enter static text, like um, a dear, Mr. or Mrs. Okay, here we have to use um, merge fields again, so we just bring up the task pane once more and insert the solicitation, first name, last name again. Where is it? Mm. Okay, here we go. And the last name. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, as I said before, we can just enter static text, like maybe a thank you for the interest in our add-ons. And we can of course use all formatting options provided by MS Word. Um, yeah, we can also just include pictures. I'll copy one from another folder. So let's place it up here. And uh, now comes the more tricky part, the, the creation of the line item temp table. Okay, I just saw that there's a mistake in my sentence. So let's correct this out. Yeah, and maybe, as mentioned, we can use all formatting options. I will um, make the address and the name in bold. Okay, um, yeah. Once the cursor is placed, we can go ahead inserting the table by choosing the additional uh, tab in the but may much taskbar. Once clicked, we can see that the quote product has been already um, resolved. That's something I will show you in another demo of the series. And we can go ahead and insert the fields. The advantage of this is that this has been completely automated. So when double clicking on one attribute, we'll be, we'll be automatically asked whether we want to add a table including a header or a footer. So we do not have to insert the table on our own and so on. So I'll choose table with header and footer. And you can see that the table is already placed including a header line and a footer line. And we can go ahead and add some further fields. So let's split this column and enter the product name. 
yeah, we should also um, split the header to mark the columns. So this is the product name column. And here, yeah, the first one is the, the product number. Um, yeah, I will add some further fields. Of course, an amount field is always meant necessary. So I'll split the columns again and just double click an attribute to insert the field within the table. And we will also add the total at the bottom of the table. So just click into the, the footer row type total and now I have to insert the field from the quote level. So within the task pane we have to go back to normal, go up to the quote, so not the primary contact, we can close the potential customer as well. And where is it? Here we go. Just insert the total amount. So that's basically all we need to do. The table is ready. We will of course have to do some formatting, so that's what I've done in the meanwhile. So after a while, uh, the document could look like this. I added a, a header, um, added two new columns, the quantity and the price per unit to the table, and removed the borders because it looks a bit pretty, I think. I also added some terms and conditions and information about the user that is creating the template at the bottom. Okay, so that's it. We can go ahead and have, have a try. I'll just choose CRM data, search for a quote that I want to print. Here we go. And what we get is the ready result. So this is the document with the information about the company at the top, the list of line attempts with the beautiful formatted values for money fields, the terms and conditions, information about the user. So you can see um, creating these templates is very easy with the new Office Open XML format because we automated the procedure of creating the very difficult line item tables. Well, what I recommend you to do is just give it a try, take a look into our, our tutorials. So um, the next one will be released next week and then we will talk about how to define those relationships, like the quote product relationships that has been already inserted in here. Bye.